Joining us right now is the mayor of Mayfield, Kathy Stewart Onan. And Madam Mayor, thank you so much for being with us. And I hope you know that we and others are, are thinking of you, your community, everyone who's been impacted by these tornadoes. Ma'am, can you tell us what the situation is like there this morning? And in particular, what with that candle factory we heard in David's report? Yes. I, I think that we are so uh, on, uh, glad that the reports first of how many people were in the candle factory at work. The, the report I've heard from my fire chief is that there were 130 there. So that made the projection of what would, of how many that would be lost higher than it actually is. And we are so, so thankful that, that we have a lower number to report than what had been a projected higher number. Such encouraging news on a morning like this. Can we go back to the night of the storm? Where were you and what did you experience? I live about four blocks from the center of downtown and I, I had been watching uh, the news and knew that this was different. This was not mm. a storm that us Kentuckians like to go out on the porch and watch roll by. And so I did go to, I'm lucky enough to have a basement and I went to the basement and heard it pass overhead. That is a horrifying sound that I hope I never hear again. And for about two minutes after that sound uh, ended, I thought, oh my gosh, we have, we have made it. And immediately, uh, the fire chief called and said he couldn't get his he couldn't get his trucks out. He couldn't get his ambulances out. He couldn't get his fire trucks out because the doors to the bays could, he couldn't open them. Mm. And so he took a chain and attached it to his truck and pulled the doors open so we could get our emergency vehicles out. And um, those doors, of course, are still open today. Our fire trucks are parked in the street. Our ambulances are parked in the street. So um, we have an amazing, amazing emergency services provided from our fire department and throughout the county. And to watch them work tirelessly as they have during the last th two, two days so far has just been heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. And just jumping into action so quickly like they did. What, what is your greatest need for your town right now? Right now, we, we lost a water tower. Our sewage, our sewage treatment plant is gone. Uh, we have the power. There's no power. There's no natural gas. There's no flowing water. We have a lot of bottled water, and that for that, we're extremely grateful. Uh, pallets and pallets have been brought in. The immediate needs of our our city people and our responders ha are being met with, with just wonderful donations. I understand that the in the shelters, the immediate needs are being met for those people there. But our infrastructure is damaged so severely that getting that up and running is our absolute greatest priority at this time. And many people want to help out in every way that they can. And a final question to you, Madam Mayor. Absolutely. What can you tell this nation about the incredible people in your beloved town? <laughs> I serve on the board of the Kentucky League of Cities, and so I meet with mayors from all over the state frequently. And when I'm ever asked what's the greatest asset of our community, it is always our people. We've had small tragedies before, and every time, immediately, the people bond together. I've seen that so much now, but we're joined by so many people from all across the Commonwealth, all across the United States, and that is the feeling that that comes when you see i was at the candle factory on the day the morning after the tragedy and i saw firefighters and emergency workers from louisville who had already gotten there the, who had gotten there in their trucks as quick as they could hmm. and come to help us and and the offers from all over the united states are overwhelming we are so blessed with the state and federal support uh that that was so evident yesterday when the Secretary of Homeland Security and the head of FEMA and the governor and our Congressman Jamie Comer all were meeting with us at the EOC. And that is something I feel, well, of course it's unprecedented for our community. Uh, we are very fortunate to get a visit from the governor on a good day. We love it when he comes, but uh, to have him here two days in a row with the support from the federal government is just priceless. All coming together. Madam Mayor, thank you so much, and yes. we will continue to thank you of you and lift up you in our prayers. We thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for, thank you for telling our story. Yes, ma'am.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.